In this video, we'll balance the net ionic equation for H3PO4 plus MgOH2, phosphoric acid plus magnesium hydroxide. So first thing we need to do is we need to balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation, two phosphates, I'm going to put it two here, three magnesiums, I can put a three here, and it looks like if I put a six here, that'll balance the molecular equation. If you need help balancing this equation, there's a link in the description of this video. We have our balanced molecular equation. Next, we write the states. Phosphoric acid will dissolve in water. So we're going to write aqueous. It is a weak acid, though. Good one to remember. Since it's a weak acid, it'll dissolve, but it won't dissociate much. Magnesium hydroxide. In general, hydroxides are insoluble. They won't dissolve in water very much. So let's look at a solubility chart here just to check that. So here is the magnesium ion, and hydroxide is right here. I go down, over, and that I, that means it's insoluble. So it's not going to dissolve, and that means we're going to write S. It'll be a solid. It won't dissolve. For magnesium phosphate, these are often insoluble, but let's get our table back up here and check to be sure. We have magnesium and then phosphate, and we go across, and yep, it's insoluble. You can see most of them are insoluble except some of the group one elements. So that's going to be a solid as well. Then water, that's a liquid. So we have our states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions to write the complete ionic equation, sometimes called the total ionic equation. When we look at this, this is a weak acid. Good to remember that phosphoric acid is a weak acid. It won't dissociate. So we're just going to write 2H3PO4. We'll write the states at the end. Let's not do that now. Magnesium hydroxide is a solid. We don't split solids apart into their ions. So three, just keep it together. Magnesium hydroxide, those are the reactants. The products, we have a solid here again. We're not going to split that apart. Mg3PO4, two, plus liquids, which we also don't split apart. So at this point, we have our complete ionic equation. Next, we would cross out spectator ions that appear on both sides, but there actually aren't any here. All of these are together. There's no ions, so we can't cross anything out. That makes this the net ionic equation as well. I'll clean it up and write the states in, and we'll have a net ionic equation for H3PO4 plus MgOH2. So this is our net ionic equation for phosphoric acid plus magnesium hydroxide. Really the key to writing this net ionic equation is understanding this is a weak acid here, H3PO4, so we don't split that apart. Then we have a solid, solid, and liquid. So we don't split anything apart. The complete ionic is the same as the net ionic equation. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.